so now in today's class uh, let me discuss about uh, uh, how two two dimensional arrays can be added that means you all know that two dimensional array uh, we can use it to represent a matrix we can use it to represent a matrix so in today's class we discuss about uh, how two matrices can be added can be added so for that we write a program like uh, uh my my program title is a uh, a program title is addition of addition of what sir chinna ga kanipistunda now sir. now okay sir addition of two matrices addition of two matrices now for that one let me take first of all Hash include as usual stdio dot h and then hash include can io dot h and then wide wide main uh, and then I am taking two matrices here in a of let us assume that uh, number of rows maximum rows of my array a is 10 and 10 and b is let us assume that 10 and 10 uh, and then i need one variable to represent the columns uh, that is a c1 that is what we can see one in the sense columns of array a and then r1 that represents the rows of array a and then c2 that represent the columns of array b and then r2 that represent the rows of a array B along with that I will take one I variable and a J variable and then N variable. I, J are uh, here counters like incrementers and N represents uh, uh, no need of taking any N here for uh, let me take uh, just uh, end that initialization uh, declaration for there itself that my declaration is having now two matrices uh, matrix A whose maximum size is 10 uh, rows and 10 columns array b whose maximum size is again 10 rows and 10 columns along with that the size uh, c1 r1 represent the uh, row size and column size of array a and c2 r2 represent the row size and column size of uh, array b along with uh, here uh, uh, i am taking two variables i j uh, use it to uh, represent the uh, uh, different uh, rows i mean uh, row elements and column elements now then clr scr clr scr so first of all i will ask for printf enter the size of the matrix a enter the size of the matrix a size of the matrix a means uh, meaning of this one is what is the how many number of rows and columns you want to maintain in uh, matrix a so actually we already declared here is the, the maximum size of the matrix is 10 into 10. That means if I take the 10 into 10 as a matrix, I need to enter nearly 100 elements. So it is not possible to enter 100 elements. Now that's why I am asking you to enter the size of the matrix here, matrix A, matrix A, and then scan F, scan F, I am specifying that percentage d percentage d matrix a needs m percent of r1 these many number of rows comma m percent of c1 these many number of columns and then again i need to take printf enter the size of the enter the size of the matrix b matrix b matrix b okay. So matrix B, for matrix B, which variables represent uh, rows and columns? R2. Scan F. Yes, yes, yes. Percentage D, percentage D, comma, ampersand of R2, comma, ampersand of C2, right? So with this, First, I will ask you that what is the enter of the size of the matrix? Suppose let us assume that you are given 3, 3. That means your intention is the matrix size is 3 by 3. And then uh, 
they again you are entering asking for the uh, enter the size of the matrix b again you are giving 3 3 meaning of that one is second matrix is also having the size of 3 by 3 no uh, and then let me tell you uh, in uh, what is the condition for adding two matrices what is the condition for adding two matrices if you want to add two matrices what is the condition what is the condition the condition is the row size of matrix a and row size of uh, uh, matrix b should be equal and column size of matrix a and column size of matrix b is equal is it right yes sir yes, yes sir so if you want to add yes, two matrices yes. if you want to add two matrices compulsory what we need is the size of the two matrices should be same is it right so that's why yes, here i am checking that condition R one equal to so when I can add two matrices if R one equal to equal to R two and another condition is what C one equal to equal to C one equal to equal to C two then only it is possible to add matrices right so now yes, I am asking for entering the elements for matrix A and elements for matrix B so print F print F enter elements for matrix a yeah. enter elements for matrix a now yes we need to take nearly r1 r2 oh, matrices r1 r2 size elements that's why i'm taking a loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than r1 i plus plus and then inside of that one again i need one more loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than c1 j plus plus and plus then plus. inside of that one i need to write the scan f statement scan f percentage d comma ampersand of a of i j a of i j now here i completed the reading of first matrix elements reading of first matrix elements then what next i need to read the elements for matrix b right so print f again i need to write the statement like print f enter enter elements for matrix B. matrix b enter elements for matrix b then again i have to use for i is equal to 0 i is less than less than what r2, r2. i plus plus r2. then inside of that again one more loop for j J equal to zero. J, J, J is less than C two. C two sir. Very good. J, J plus, plus plus. Very yes, good. Plus, plus. Then I need to write a scan F statement. Scan F. Percentage D. Percentage D. Yes, very good. Percentage D. Comma. M percent of B of I. B B sir. Yes, B of I J. very good now we complete the reading of elements in two matrices reading of elements in two matrices right yes sir now yes, sir. so if you want to add two matrices how we can perform that addition the 0 0 element of matrix a should add with the 0 0 element of matrix b right yes sir 0 1 element of matrix a should add with 0 1 element of matrix b right Yes. Yes. So like that, we we can add. We can add the addition. We can perform the addition. So now I am writing the code for that one. Print f addition of two matrices is addition of two matrices is like again. I need to write for you know what is the here. uh you can perform the addition only if r1 equal to equal to r2 and c1 equal to equal to c2 right yes sir yes sir that means the newly generated matrix that means once we perform the addition 
the newly generated matrix what is the size of that matrix newly generated huh? 3 by 3 is it right that is is equal to r1 c1 r r2 c2 right yes sir oka 3 by 3 matrix ni inkoka 3 by 3 matrix tho add chesthe resultant matrix size kuda 3 by 3 untundi right yes sir అలాంటప్పుడు రిజల్టెంట్ మ్యాట్రిక్ సైజ్ ని నేను ఆర్ వన్ సి వన్ గా అయినా తీసుకోవచ్చు లేదా ఆర్ టూ సి టూ గా అయినా తీసుకోవచ్చు రైట్ ఎస్ సో ఐ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఐ ఈజ్ లెస్ దాన్ ఆర్ వన్ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ ఆర్ వన్ సి వన్ ఓకే ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ ఐ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ దెన్ ఫార్ జే ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో జే ఈజ్ లెస్ దాన్ c1 j plus plus then here i am writing so one more thing what i need to forget to declare here is if i want to add a and b matrices then i need one more matrices c whose size is 10 10 right why because i want to store the result in c matrix okay yes. i want to store yes. the result in c matrices so c 10 10 and here i will write now tell me c of i j equal to a of i j plus b of i j right what is the meaning of this one c of 0 0 equal to a of 0 0 plus b of 0 0 c of 0 1 is equal to a of 0 1 plus b of 0 1 c of 0 2 is equal to a of 0 2 plus b of 0 2 right speed sir yes sir c of i 0 that means once we add two matrices a b the resultant matrix is stored in matrix c here so c 0 0 element is equal to a 0 0 element plus b 0 0 element right yes that's what here i am writing c of i j equal to a of i j plus b of i j b of i j and then i am trying to print here itself the value of c to see the output percentage d comma c of i j c of i j then i close here that the first loop and then i write a statement a slash n to display the next row in next line <laughs> next row in next line and then close the second for loop and then close the if statement what you open and then else and then else what is the meaning of else here what is the meaning of else here can anybody tell else and then income yeah not like that ma here i am taking the if condition na if condition what is that if condition addition is possible only when row 1 equal to i mean r1 equal to equal to r2 and c1 equal to equal to c2 if r1 not equal to r2 and c1 r c1 not equal to c2 what happened else what happened if r1 not equal to uh, r2 and c1 not equal to Sorry. c2 then what happened r not present huh if sir if adu if print avana else print avum sir illa ledu hemant that's not like that so here why we take the if statement here there if r1 uh equal to equal to r2 c1 equal to equal to c2 then only addition is possible if r1 not equal to r2 if you take two matrices in that if r1 not equal to r2 c1 not equal to c2 is it possible to add the two matrices no sir no how can we add can we add 2 by 3 matrix with the 3 by 2 matrix no sir. can we add 2 by 3 matrix with the 3 by 2 matrix no no you want sir. to add two matrices no. the size of the two matrices should be same 
in yes, first sir. condition we check whether the two matrices size equal to same or not if that condition is not same that if that condition is not satisfied then i have to specify in else statement that addition of the two matrices is not possible why because they are different in their size they are different in their size ikkada ardham avutunda what we are taking here we are checking for addition is possible or not here in if statement that r1 equal to equal to r2 c1 equal to equal to c2 then meaning of that one is what addition is possible so we write the code if r1 not equal to r2 c1 not equal to c2 meaning of that one is addition is not possible so that's what i mentioned here in else statement that addition of two matrices is not possible so can i run this one now so no errors now i am running here what is the size of the matrix a i take 3 by 3 what is the size of the matrix b again i will take 3 by 3 by 3 and enter elements for matrix a i use 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 then 7 8 9 then enter the matrix for b again i will use 1 2 3 then 4 5 6 then 7 8 9 then the addition of two matrices is see there 2 4 6 8 10 12 18 and then 14 16 18 right let me let me uh, do small modification in the program so that you can see the addition of two matrices in an efficient manner so here i need to change that one addition of two matrices is i will write slash and here then that's all alt run it so now matrix size is let us take let me take 2 by 2 matrix and a 2 by 2 matrix and a matrix a elements are 1 2 3 4 and a matrix b is 4 3 2 1 and then addition of two matrices is 5 5 5 is it true is it right yes sir yes so this is the code what we write here in if statement like here matrix size a is 2 2 matrix size b is 2 by 2 so r1 equal to equal to r2 here and c1 equal to equal to c2 here now let me check another condition i will take two matrices with the different sizes then in that case what will be the output let me check that alt r so now i will take 2 3 and i will take 2 2 i want to add two matrices Uh, one matrix size is a uh, two by three. Another matrix size is a uh, two by two. Now, by what two. happened? Not possible. Not possible. Why? Because the two matrices are not same in their size. Yes, okay? sir. Okay. So that's what. That's why I mentioned this statement at the end. If two matrices are equal, then I have to perform the addition. If the two matrices are not equal, then I have to display the message: addition of two matrices is not possible. Is not possible. Understand? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, can you write this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you start writing. I will explain one by one. You start writing again. You start writing. So the first one program title is what? Addition of two matrices. So addition of sir. two matrices. addition of two matrices and then here first what we need to write i need to include the standard header file that's why here i mentioned i, uh, I told you that hash uh, include stdio.h then hash include tanio.h then i need to write a main function main function void main void main then come to the declaration part in the declaration i am using three matrices with the size of 10 10 maximum size 10 10 that is a of 10 10 and then b of 10 10 
and C of 10, 10. That means uh, I will add A matrix A with matrix B and store the result in matrix C. Then I will take the C1, R1, C2, R2. Let C1, R1 represent the columns and row sizes of matrix A and C2, R2 represents columns and row sizes of matrix B. Along with that, I will take the I and J2 variables to represent the individual elements of the matrix. So then I use the CLRS here, then print F, enter the size of the matrix A. Here you need to mention what is the size you want to read um, of a matrix for matrix A, that is R1 and C1. And then enter the size of the matrix B that represents R2, C2. And here you are specifying that uh, when you are checking for the condition, when will be the addition of two matrices is possible. So the addition of two matrices is possible only if row size of matrix A equal to row size of matrix B and column size of matrix A is equal to column size of matrix B. And then if it is true, the meaning of that one is addition is possible. So then we start to reading the elements for the matrix A. For that one, we use the for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than r1, i plus plus. This represents the row. And then for j is equal to 0, j is less than c1, j plus plus. This represents the column. So at the very beginning case, what happened? If i is equal to 0, that means 0th row, I will read all the elements for all columns like j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2, j is equal to 3. And then i is equal to 1, again j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 3. When i is equal to third, represent the third row, then again j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2. That means j represent the columns, i represent the 0, i represent the rows. Then scan f percentage d percent of a of i and j that is with that we read the elements for matrix a the task is completed then here we try to read the elements for read, matrix sir? b yes here in this case we try to read the elements for matrix b so i is equal to 0 now i is less than r2 i plus plus for j is equal to 0, j is less than c2, j plus plus, scan f percentage d, m percent of b i j, b i j. Ma, can anybody tell what happened if I use r1, c1 while reading the elements for matrix b? Can anybody tell me what happened if I use r1, c1 while reading the elements for matrix b? Again, I am asking, suppose while entering the elements for matrix B, instead of using I is less than R2 and J is less than C2, if I am using I is less than R1 and J is less than C1, what happened? Is it there any, any rang is there if I am using like that? No, sir. No. Why? Because? R1 value equal to R2 and C1 value equal to C2. That means either I can use R1, C1 or R2, C2 in, while reading the elements in both the matrices. Okay. Just for the sake of you, that means for the sake of understanding, here I am taking I is less than R2 and J is less than C2 for reading the elements for matrix B. And then scan F percentage D comma ampersand of B of I j then with this we complete the reading of elements for matrix b now the main task is i need to perform the addition of the two matrices addition of the two matrices can be performed by adding individual element of matrix 
A with the corresponding element of matrix B. That means the 0, 0 element of matrix A should add with the 0, 0 element of matrix B and that should be stored, result will be stored in 0, 0 location of matrix C, right? 0, 1 element of matrix A should add with 0, 1 element of matrix B and it is stored in 0, 1 location of matrix C. Result will be, result should store in 0, 1 location of matrix C, right? Now, here addition takes place in this statement and directly I am printing the value to see the output printf percentage d comma c of i j and uh, the next line should be the next row should displayed in next line that's why here I am taking printf slash n and then close the second for loop and then close the if statement. So if statement is not satisfied meaning of that one is addition is not possible. That's what here we mentioned. Completed. Sir, so it is not completed. Why, ma? Okay. Can anybody tell me, suppose if I ask you uh, to write a program for subtraction of two matrices, where should I change in this program? Uh. Suppose my intention is I want to subtract two matrices. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ij minus B of Ij, sir. That's all. That's all. So there is no need to change any other part of the program. Simply write C of Ij is equal to A of Ij, of IJ minus, minus B of Ij. B of IJ. That's all. Okay. Right, now, sir. What, ma? Right, right or right. not, sir? Right, right, right. No doubt, right it is. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, my intention is, now my intention is, suppose let us assume that I want to write a program for, I want to write a program for multiplication of two matrices multiplication of two matrices okay multiplication of two matrices now let me check <clears throat> suppose i will change my program here so instead of addition it's a program program for multiplication multiplication of two matrices. Now, can anybody tell me what is the condition for multiplication? Like, if you want to multiply two matrices, what is the rule? Just like in the previous program, we said that if you want to add two matrices, the size of the matrices should be same. Now, the same thing is applicable for multiplication. What is the condition for multiplication of two matrices? So when it is possible to multiply two matrices? Hmm. The column number of first matrices is equal to row number of second matrices. Second matrices. Is it right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me, suppose if I am having a matrix A with a size 2, 3 and matrix B with size of 3, 2, what is the result matrices size? 
result matrix size result and matrix size so is it possible to add two matrices with these sizes suppose i am having a matrix a with the size of 2 by 3 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 and uh, i am having another matrix b with the size of uh, 3 by 2 is it possible to multiply these two matrices if possible what is the size of the resultant matrix c resultant matrix size what is the size of the resultant matrix so in this case yes it is possible to multiply these two matrices because here you can see column size of matrix a is equal to row size of matrix b row size of matrix b so multiplication is possible what is the result of this one is see here row size of matrix a and column size of matrix b so the resultant matrix size is 2 by 2 resultant matrix size is 2 by 2 understand hello yes sir yes so yes, if your matrix is having a size 2 by 3 and matrix b is having size 3 by 2 the resultant matrix size is 2 by 2 that means the resultant matrix size can be obtained by taking the size of the rows of matrix a and column size okay the resultant matrix size is 2 by 2 this is the basic nine matrix if you want to multiply two matrices what is the rule means the column size of the first matrix is equal to the row size of the second matrix the resultant matrix size is row size of the first matrix into column size of second matrix so these are the basic things in matrices okay now i want to write the code for this one so as usual i will mention the row size uh, column size of a matrix a and row size column size of matrix b now what is the condition what is the condition here i need to check that multiplication is when that multiplication is possible tell me if c1 equal to equal to R two, right? If C one equal to equal to R two, that means size of column of matrix A equal to row size of matrix B, then only multiplication is possible. Then only multiplication is possible. So yes, after sir. that, after checking that condition, I will enter into the block program. here i will read the elements for matrix a and then elements for matrix b a and elements for matrix b and now here i am writing multiplication 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 of two matrices is multiplication of two matrices is i is equal to 0 i is less than r1 i plus plus and then resultant matrix size what is the resultant matrix size j is equal to 0 j is less than what c1 c2 c2 resultant matrix size inda cheppan kada ma resultant matrix size ela vastundi r1 c2 r2 c2 yes sir c2 that's what here we write then afterwards you just recollect that uh, how that uh, multiplication can be takes place multiplication can be takes place with just took a paper pen tisconi meer ekkadaina note cheskondi multiplication la ela chestam we will perform the multiplication first column we will take and that should be multiply with all the rows is it right all the rows of a second matrix then second second row should multiply with all the column all the columns of second matrix right is it right or wrong right sir oh. for then i will take one more variable k is equal to 0 k is less than either i can use r1 
sorry either i can use c1 or r2 why because c1 r2 both are same c1 r2 both are same c1 means column size and r2 means row size both are same so either i can take c1 or r2 here so i will take c1 and then k plus plus and then k plus plus now here i am writing statement c of i j is equal to c of i j is equal to c of i j c of i j plus a of i k into b of k j b of k j b of k j then this element will be added after was pre loops here we are having so here i will try to print print f print f percentage d percentage d comma c of i j c of i j then we close the second loop then slash n then third loop then if statement then else addition not addition multiplication is not possible multiplication of two matrices is not possible now let me run this one two errors are there what are those here sorry i didn't close this k here for loop and another thing is i didn't use that k variable i didn't declare that k variable here so k let me run this one no errors size of the matrix a 2 by 2 then size of the matrix b 2 by 2 sorry 2 by 2 then enter the multiplication is not possible why because here i take two different values no so that's why no oh, one minute okay alt enter so again i am running this 2 by 2 matrix 2 by 2 matrix elements for matrix a i am giving 1 2 3 4 4 elements for matrix b 1 2 3 4 so multiplication of the two matrices is 7 9 11 13 13. can anybody do this multiplication by using paper and pen take two matrices 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and perform the multiplication and perform the multiplication and just write down there the matrices 7 9 11 13 13 is it right or wrong you just tell me now after this uh, uh, the timing is over so it's about to close seven nine eleven thirteen hello hello Yeah, yeah. yeah, have you verified that answer? Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Okay. So this is how we can write. You just write this particular code. That's enough. this particular code later you modify that in your program this this part from here like multiplication of two matrices from here to here you just write this part and remaining part will be as usual uh, the remaining part will be same so you just write this one as fast as possible as because uh, the meeting is about to close
Abajo.